Welcome to the channel once again everyone, I'm Oli Rodriguez Dorman and today I'm going to be looking at the worst vinyls I have in my vinyl record collection. Everyone at some point in time when they've been collecting vinyl records and maybe gone a bit ahead of themselves and picked up some records that they weren't exactly needing or wanting to add to their collection. And I'm no different. I'm Oli Rodriguez Dorman and today I'm going to be showing you the 5 worst vinyl records that I have in my collection currently. If you love vinyl records and you like watching other people's collections then please press the subscribe button because I'm on the road to 1000 subscribers and you hitting the subscribe button would really help me reach that goal. And if you enjoyed the video leave a like as well. But starting off with the first record, it's going to unfortunately be actually one of my favourite artists and that is Logic with Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. Now. Actually, what some people may say about Logic and Confessions Dangerous Mind isn't as bad as what I would actually say about the album musically. I believe it's quite a rare vinyl to actually find, and I absolutely love the cover of it itself. And that's unfortunately why I don't like this record as much as you might think. Because I believe this is a Sam Spratt cover, and if you know Logic, Sam Spratt is like his main artist, his go-to guy who he goes to make like all his amazing covers. And this cover definitely stands out, and even if it's not Sam Spratt, which I'm pretty sure certain it is, it's it's still a really good album cover there and unfortunately it kind of made me think that the same was going to appear on both the back of the vinyl and on the inside and I remember when I got this I felt very disappointed with how this looked it's literally just four strips of color cover looks amazing inside and back just it doesn't all come together and then even I was kind of hoping that the there would be an inner sleeve or something, but no, it's literally just pure white. And overall, it feels very lackluster as a physical record itself. And then when we come over to the music side of it, this is probably one of his most hated albums in his collection, next to probably Supermarket. Personally, I'd actually say it's like my Guilty Pleasure Logic album. I get a lot more enjoyment out of it than other people. However, there are some songs on here that I just cannot listen to, and actually, I go for a good effort to skip. One of those including Bobby featuring his dad, and probably, honestly, one of the worst songs I've heard, which is Don't Be Afraid To Be Different fe featuring Will Smith. That song is a hard listen. So I'd say this is quite an appetizer for when it comes to looking at the worst vinyl records in my selection. Because as well, I wouldn't want to part ways with this record because I do like Logic and I want to have as many of his records as I can in my collection. And as I said, this one's a bit of a harder one to find now and I'm glad I do have it. However, that sentiment cannot be shared with this next one I'm about to show you. I'm even tempted to save this for the end of the video to have the big like final like worst vinyl in my collection but this is the worst record I have ever got it's not even great musically in my opinion and I'll just show you this is it this is the record and in case you don't know who this is Kanye West with Donda I'm actually gonna run a clip right now because this is my reaction when I actually first got the record oh god is it just plain black all throughout Right, okay, Kanye, you're actually taking a piss. F*** no, this man has lost his mind, that's all he sees. Alright, feels like my eyes are closed as I'm looking at this. See, because guess what I pulled out? I was expecting something on this, but just, it's just more! Like, how... Just take it. Like, is there any other colour on the colour palette that you could have used? Just something, just a picture, just something. Like, you couldn't even, like, do the thing where you, like, put something black on top of the black, so there's, like, a matte, uh, like, similar to the Kendrick vinyl that I've got. Fucking hell, this is like, this is a different one by the way. How can I tell the difference? Right, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going through the effort to show this one. Okay, so if you just want a random black folder to add to your collection of vinyls, I, re I really do recommend just getting donned up. Clearly, this is definition of laziness in terms of a vinyl being made. I did not like it when I got it then, and I still do not like it now. As I was saying in the clip, it's literally just a binder of just, it's literally just black all the way throughout, and then... I think the funniest part to me is it literally takes the piss. When you pull out the record sleeve itself, that is actually all black itself, not even like a white one, and then even the record is just full black there, although you could probably class that as grey, so a little bit of a difference. And this is literally the only part of the barcode that is not black within this at all, which... Yeah, this is honestly one of my worst in, like, no, this is the worst one in my collection, honestly. Like, when I was thinking about this video, this was the record that made me want to do it, just to rant about this one. And I mean, fair play, because it's actually, like, when you can look through it and everything's just black, then it's full commitment to the bit and the theme of his album that he wanted to go with, but it's just boring. And I think that kind of sums up the music on this record as well. There are a couple of, like, I can't even remember, like, look how many bits this opens like one two 
free and then you're left with four actual records in it in itself meaning obviously two sides to each so you're getting eight sides worth of music when you're buying this and i can only pick out a handful of the songs i actually like the rest i could live without i could honestly really live without this record and for that reason it's my worst record in my collection now, i'm gonna shift gears a second because I'm usually someone who's into rap and hip hop, however, that's not where my original love for music came in. When I first sort of discovered my love for music, technically it was like through pop and listening to the radio, but then my dad kind of got me into like heavy metal music. And kind of more when I was coming to the end of listening to heavy, heavy metal, I came across a certain band who I began listening to, definitely at the trail end of my love for heavy metal. And at that point in time, I hadn't actually started collecting records yet. So this one that I'm about to show is a heavy metal record that I got kind of near that time period where I was sort of like picking up some Eminem records and kind of still kind of having a little bit of interest in rock and heavy metal. And these guys I had a lot of fun listening to, but this record I'm just like, it's one that I could honestly throw out and I would not miss. Like for this whole thing, like I was looking through like where I actually store my vinyl records, which is in this whole unit here that you can see the wonderful Lego one. Because I was looking and I was like, you know what? I'm actually struggling to find records that I actually don't like in my collection. But then I found this, which contains just random records that I don't really care about. Not all of them in here I hate, but there's a couple in there. And one of them was Steel Panther. I don't even know the name of this record, I just know that the record itself is actually green. Yeah, 2016, 2017 sounds about right for whenever this one came out. If you don't know about Steel Panther, you know what, actually, I think that's a good comparison. They are essentially the family guy of heavy metal. I mean, I'll just open this because then you can actually see for yourself if I get rid of the ring light. Just That says all you need to know about it if you want to see the record itself because this is probably the only time i'm actually going to be able to showcase a record like this in my collection but it exists and that is this like i mean it just looks like vomit i'm looking and it doesn't even actually match the color of the actual title or the, like the color they've gone for in the actual like font of their name which might just be a pressing thing but I've seen darker greens that would suit that better in my own collection, so yeah, it's there's not too much to say, just like, I think when I was a teenager I got a lot more enjoyment out of them, but not saying I'm mature or anything now, but I've definitely outgrown these guys. And that's not necessarily to say like they're a bad band by the way, because musically they are talented, I just don't like listening to their style of music. Now this next record I'm about to show might surprise a couple of you because if you know me I'm a massive Eminem fan. However this one isn't necessarily due to the music of it or anything that he's done on it but I think it's more so how I came about getting this record because that is Infinite and Infinite is an album I think it's actually really interesting to go and listen to because it's not like it's bad but it's kind of just like it's someone's first proper album that they put like some time and effort into and you can like it's just nice to see where someone of like even Eminem's status like started so I am actually glad to have this in my collection and like there's the inside of it but there's a little bit of a story of this one that kind of makes me 100% re regret buying it yeah, it's also, I mean, it's like there's a fog inside the transparency of this. Like, look at me. Huh? Can you even see me? Because I can't. So it's barely transparent. But the story of this record is I paid too much for it. And it's a bootleg. I'm sure you would have probably figured that out by now. I have mentioned the story previously or at least skimmed over it a little bit. But essentially what it boiled down to is this was when I was first getting into record collecting. And I started my record collection essentially with Eminem. And he's the artist that got me into rap and hip hop and go down all the rabbit holes that surrounds that genre. And as part of it, I set out to basically get every Eminem record to add to my collection. And if you look through the channel, you'll see, and I am gonna do a full video in it one day, but hopefully you'll be able to tell that I've got a pretty decent one going in my opinion. And this was kind of the first one where I was like, I'm gonna hunt for it, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Remember even thinking that I could go into just some random record shop and just pick it up and find it. But this was back in the day before I actually knew about like Discogs and just properly like knowing how to take the time to research and find out about what records are available and which ones are bootlegs, which ones are official, all that sort of stuff. So I had found myself on eBay one day and some dude was basically selling this for I think it was about 80, 60 to 80 pound. And on eBay one of the things you can do is like put make an offer or something and I think I contacted being like could I 
maybe get it for like 140 pound because there are people bidding on it and i was like oh i want to go pick that up because i don't want to lose out on it at all and it's probably worth way more than that but knowing what i know now um i could have probably just gone on to something like etsy and picked this up for like maybe 30 pound or something so yeah, I'm not someone who likes having unofficial stuff. Not just like vinyl records at all, but that applies to my Lego, it applies to... I mean, it's really Lego and <laughs> vinyl records, that's my personality. But I like having the official things and having this in my collection makes me feel a bit dirty, I think. But it's playable, I can listen to the Infinite album whenever I want to. And yeah, I mean, it's cool to have it, but the way I got it... I'm kind of upset about which is why i'd consider it one of my worst and then i was struggling to find just a fifth one that i could add to this video and that again meant going back to the old record box whatever it's called need an official name for it maybe the void or the abyss or something like that but vinylify it somehow does that make sense but i was looking through it and this is the one i picked out and i found now i do actually have some fond memories of this um basically being the fozzy album and to be fair there is a good song on here called do you want to start a war which i actually really liked and it was fun to actually see it perform live because that's when i picked up this record and now i think about it this might actually be one of the first records i got or the first one that i actually got in my collection if you don't know about fozzy they're basically known because the lead singer is a wrestler and quite a big one. He was in WWE for quite a long time. He was also in WCW before that. Currently he works in AEW and there's been some recent controversies about him and whatnot. And overall, I think his character as a wrestler has gone a bit stale, but that's not what this video is about. But at this show, my dad was very kind and actually got me backstage VIP tickets essentially to go and meet the band, have a bit of a meet and greet, get a chance to meet them all, and I even got a picture with them, which includes Chris Jericho in there. And quite embarrassingly, I was actually doing wrestling around that time period, like starting to actually train for it. Didn't last very long. And I just remember when I saw him, I basically was like something like taking bumps or a pain in the ass. And it was one of the most embarrassing, cringiest things now I think about it. Because he just sort of went, uh -huh, keep up the good work or something like that. I think I have got an old image of it that I'll put on screen right now. But when it comes to the record itself, it's not really special and if i were going to say why i'm going to put this in my worst records i have in my collection fuzzy is a band as great as musicians as they are if you were to go on an ai and put generic heavy metal music this is probably what you would get that's the best way i could put this album and that's going to be where i wrap up the video so thank you very much for watching these were my worst vinyl records that i have in my collection if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and also comment down below what some of your most regrettable or some of your worst vinyls that you have in your collection are because i'm interested to hear what you have let me know what you think about any of these do you actually like them and want them in your collection and for now i've been ollie rodriguez Norman. remember subscribe if you do want to see more content and leave a like if you enjoyed this one anyway Anyway, I shall see you later. Goodbye.